First of all, the global business landscape is changing. There's a much broader demand for social responsibility, ethical performance, and so on and so forth. There's much greater stakeholder engagement in the business, and there's a much greater expectation of reporting and transparency. The whole aim of this summit is to encourage sustainability in the beauty industry by bringing together key stakeholders in the industry to debate and discuss key issues. For each summit we focus on specific aspects of sustainability. This year some of the key themes are sustainable supply chains and its marketing and distribution innovations. I think the Sustainable Cosmetics Summit is um, an excellent opportunity to connect with other people in the industry. Um, I think the area of sustainability and beauty is a new one, but it's really growing and um, it's an important one, whether your company is really big like P&G or, or whether you're a smaller company. So I think it's an excellent opportunity. I came here to meet everybody that's here. I mean, something that I find very exciting is this cradle to cradle philosophy. Do more good, do more good. I mean, everything we do, everything we're sourcing needs to be sustainable. Whatever we're producing as, as waste needs to be sustainably and it needs to be cyclable in the cradle to cradle fashion. Okay, how many of you think it's really great to sell what you're not? Think of it. If I walked into a store to buy cosmetics and I looked at a jar of cream and it said, plutonium free. It's like, what are you selling? Not plutonium. This is silly. Carbon free cosmetics. We don't have an energy problem, folks. We have a material problem. We're hearing of other associations, other initiatives like the Ethical Union for Ethical Biotrade. Um, we're hearing from some of the major companies. We have Procter & Gamble talking about the sustainability initiatives they're taking. So all through the industry, everybody's having a chance to build on. It's not, it isn't just a theoretical meeting. People are acting on, on what's coming out of this room. I found it fascinating. I, I really enjoyed the CEO roundtable. I really enjoyed the CEO's perspectives on where the industry was going and what seals and standards meant to them because that's really something that's also important to us as well and um, just to get their, their perspective on the industry. We're very happy with the turnout. We've got about 170, 180 people over the three-day summit, and people have come from across the industry, from the brand owners, cosmetic manufacturers, retailers, ingredient companies, and NGOs. People are happy to hear the presentations, they're happy with the networking, and they're happy that they're progressing the industry towards sustainability a little bit more. As an ingredient supplier, uh, we love to meet the decision makers and the leaders in the industry. And what impresses me every time at this conference is what high level people are here. Uh, I think there's no other place where I uh, get to be so close to the leadership in this industry. My hat is off to Organic Monitor um, for uh, you know really being at the forefront of uh, putting together the, the minds and voices and ideas and organizations and people um, that really are moving uh, this aspect of the cosmetics industry forward. Um, increasingly consumers uh, really do care about where their products are coming from, how they're sourced, and the um, effect on human beings and the environment. So everything in this conference is uh, of interest to me. That are very inspiring about how this consciousness has changed the way you live and opened up business opportunities um, and opened up a way to live life passionately um, according to values and doing what you love. My key message for the Sustainable Cosmetics Summit is that the environment is our bodies. It's our children. It's our health. So sustainability is about health for consumers who are out there looking for green products. This is my first year here. I think it's a wonderful uh, activity, event, and conference. So uh, thank you for, for the opportunity. This has been wonderful. It, it's, uh, it's good for people of like minds to meet, 
uh, wherever one is. I like to say that green is a process, not a result, and all of us are on our own individual green journey of discovery. It's so kind of exciting. I'm going to leave really inspired and excited um, about everything I've learned. <laughs> Ten years of great conferences and look forward to more. We'd like to thank you for our partners, our sponsors, our media partners, as well as all of our customers for making this another successful Sustainable Cosmetic Summit. And we hope to see you again either in Paris, Hong Kong or New York next year.